Hello everybody, welcome to the official replay cast of round 32 game 2 between Surveillance and Matabolitos. Surveillance won his group, Matabolitos was second in his. And I can tell you also that Surveillance is Swedish, qualified on PlayStation through the PlayStation WC Open, representing the PS League Coalition. Uh, Matablitos is Mexican and qualified through the FMBB qualifier. And uh, Surveillance is the Skaven in blue and yellow. Actually, a pretty hideous blue and yellow, honestly. This is a really ugly, a really ugly yellow. <laughs> really light blue. I really don't like this yellow and blue team at all. Actually, quite like, you know, uh, the Sweden football kit or the Brazil football kit, but... Uh, these are particularly hideous hues of blue and yellow. And uh, I think Matablitos's pink team with the design looks great, actually. So I'm going to go with Matablitos is my pick for the kits. Um, but Surveillance won game one, so he does have the advantage here. A draw will see him through. Uh, Matablitos has to somehow win versus a team that can one turn and has movement nine. Add two plus players. It's it's just literally hard to beat Skaven, isn't it? The way to beat them is by absolutely smashing them to pieces. And uh, yeah, so he has to smash them to pieces and he has to hope they roll some ones. And if both of those things happen, he has a chance. Wow, that's crazy. I had no idea about that. Honestly, alcohol's rubbish. It, it, if alcohol was like an illegal drug, it would be banned, wouldn't it? It's just because it's like socially acceptable that it's uh, that it's a thing. Wow, I really would have blitzed this guy. Like, I know he's on a mummy and stuff, but like, it, once again, he's left like nothing in here, right? He, he loves leaving these gaps. It does matter, Belitos, and it does let. Surveillance bring his whole team through potentially. But having said that, he's not going to split his team in two. He was going for the surf, which is a completely reasonable thing to do. Surf the tackler. And he can still occupy that space, make that a two for one trade. Which is fine, isn't it? It's funny because what, what you've got, like, you've got the trade of TV and the trade of players, right? Like, TV-wise, it's about the same, right? 130 versus 150. But it's not just the TV. It is the fact that it is two players, right? And just purely on numbers. Um, now, Matabolitos has nine players versus ten. <laughs> Matabolitos, what a great name, what a great name, my favourite player of the World Championship. <laughs> Natural TV, team value, <laughs> yep. And I did forget to talk about the teams at the start of the thing because, you know, we'd just done, we'd just done the first game on the stream. Uh, but yeah, I, I really don't like Matabolitos' build. He's gone double tackle, a strip ball ghoul, only one protected ghoul and two guard mummies. So the guard mummies are like worse versus Skaven, right? Because you want protected ghouls. So your ghouls can do things and not die. He's also benched one. I don't know if that was on purpose or not. Um, but he's only got three ghouls on the pitch versus a team with movement nine. Uh, who can say if that's good or bad? And yeah, this, I mean, you know, <laughs> I'm saying that, I'm not gonna say it like, a, I said that like I was a bad gym. I'm not bad gym. I'm not bad Jim, so I'm going to pause, I'm going to talk about it. So I imagine what he was thinking was, if he feels another unprotected ghoul, it can get picked off by the mighty blow blitzer, you know, a remover player. He doesn't want it players removed. And a lot of people will see that as a weakness, having the fourth ghoul on, because it's AV7, doesn't have regen. 
will be targeted by mighty blow and block try to remove them that's why lots of people you know choose their skills four skills on the ghouls to give them block or wrestle and make them less of an easy target obviously he hasn't done that and you know at the end of the day if he just beats everything up the zombie's just nearly as good right and if things go right for him he won't need the extra ghoul um and i guess he wins the game by things going right so so honestly it maybe it's fine so i'll try not to say dickish things like that anymore that was a little bit dickish and i do apologize i'm trying to be better it's been it's been a lot of bad years on twitch i can't believe people have subscribed for this long and watched the stream for this long and watched the youtube for this long considering how bad it's been but now i'm gonna be a top-notch streamer and youtuber you'll be glad to know hopefully <laughs> So the bad thing from surveillance point of view here is three people behind the ball, right, and, and an open space. So Mata Balitos could have taken this space if he'd wanted. But it is turn three. I, I would have done it just to defend this stunned mummy, right? Because the problem here is, like, first of all, you want to get forward if you can versus Skaven, right? Because they, uh, they can just get in front of you. And they throw bodies at you and all sorts of things. So I, I want to be nearer their end zone if they get the ball off me anyway. And he has completely abandoned this mummy. And the problem with Undead is if they get a mummy removed, um, they become a bad human team. And human teams aren't really good. So you really don't want to become a bad human team. And uh, this is set up to potentially foul this mummy here. <laughs> Brutal sarcastic honesty, and also I, I mean yes, initially that was what was wrong with my stream, and then I got very ill, um, physically and mentally. So he didn't go for the foul there. I would have been tempted to throw a foul there, and then I've just recently got better in all respects, so I'm ready to take streaming seriously and properly and be a good boy. So there you go. But it is true, the brutal sarcastic honesty is a, is a, <laughs> is, is a trait that I uh, have carried throughout my life. <laughs> but the illness was, was not. Oh, got to re-roll that. Only a push. Problem is he just can't go anywhere now, can he? No, and he's blitzing with a ball. Because he hasn't got anyone else to blitz with. Thanks, it is as it is. Oh, we're feeding the roger, that means he's blitzing. Yep. Gets the pow. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, look, I, I mean, I, I can't completely change who I am overnight, can I? Um, and I realise that, you know, other people, other people play the game, don't they? And I've never been one to play the game my whole life. Um, but I at least feel good now. I mean, you can't do it overnight, Dimmy, right? Like, you've got to make small incremental improvements generally. It's very difficult for people to completely ch change their personality overnight or anything overnight, right? But, you know, you could go to the gym every day, couldn't you, for a few years and be a buff dude. Or you can't just wake up one day and think, oh, I hope I'll be buff and then do it. Okay, Dimmy. Well, you know best. Blitz. And he's gonna have to 
dodge with the ghoul, I think. Glorious. What a legend. And I will defend. I will defend. Thank you very much. <laughs> Glorious. No, I won't give in. Until I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. Flip me. Glorious. No, I won't give in. Flip until me. I'm victorious. And I will <laughs> defend. I will defend. Wow. <laughs> Glorious. No, I won't give in. Um, until I'm victorious. Yeah, I think he is getting beaten up by Skaven. I will defend. I mean, they've got a mighty blow blitzer every turn, right? They've got a mighty blow blocker and a mighty Glorious. blow frenzier with no, strength I five. And they can foul. Until I'm victorious. Less so, less and so I surveillance this team. I will defend. Oh wow, thank you so much guys. Glorious. <laughs> no, I won't I'll leave the continuous in the I'll leave the continuous. And I will <laughs> I'm going. Thank you I so much. <laughs> Glorious. No, I won't give in. Until I'm victorious. Oh, and I will four plus defend. dodge of the ball I makes it. Defend. And then double rush, fails the second one. Turn six. Glorious. No, I won't give in. Until I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. Am I gonna one dice strip him? Yeah, yeah, the stripper's here. Glorious. No, I won't give in. Until I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will be <laughs> this is a lot of a lot of gloriousness, but thank you very much. Glorious. No, I won't give in until I'm victorious, and I will. Oh defend. wow! Imagine if the mummy I will defend. It's in three tackle zones, and he can't dislodge it. Glorious. No, I Chuck's won't in the reroll. Doesn't get it. Oh, it's in two I'm tackle zones. One of them is his. And I will defend. I will defend. Could he have blocked first? Hmm, not really. Glorious. No, I won't give in. Until I'm victorious. <laughs> and I will defend. I will defend. Uh, yeah, I do play some music sometimes, sounds like it. Glorious. No, I won't give That's in. That's the Hellboy songs, Until right? Until I'm victorious. <laughs> and I will defend. It's the, defend. um, because Hellboy's covers are so close to the originals, they get, they get flagged as the originals. Glorious. No, I won't give in until oh I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. <laughs> this doesn't. <laughs> this did, right? Glorious. The actual Glorious no, I won't give got me demonetized all the time. Until I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. <laughs> I mean, they're not completely glorious. different. Dude. No, I won't give in until I'm victorious. And I will Fails defend. a three plus pickup. I will defend. Fails a three plus pickup. Glorious. No, I won't give in <laughs> until I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. Oh, and another one. Hi. Glorious. No, I won't give in until I'm victorious. <laughs> and I will defend. I will defend. Wow. So, glorious. I must say. No, I won't give in. <laughs> the I'm continuous victorious. notifications aren't and the I best for. <laughs> I <laughs> from watching and talking about the game, are they? <laughs> but um, that's incredible. Um, thank glorious. you so much, guys. Thank no, you so much. There's not a lot to say about the game, honestly, because I will defend. I will defend. 
The undead drive has fallen apart. The Skaven have got a, a nice chain here. Nice chain. Glorious. To no, make it I 2 plus 2 in. plus to score. Until I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. Oh. Glorious. Is this a rush? No, I won't give so in. what he should have done. Until I'm victorious. And One, I will two, defend. Three, four, five, six, defend. Seven, eight. Hand off, right? Pick up hand off. It's just better. Yeah. Can't can't have a gut runner die then. Can't have a gut runner die then. Um So And and the pickup fail is a turnover anyway, so Glorious. Oh no, I won't give in <laughs> until I'm victorious. Thank you very and much. And I will defend. I will defend. Wow. Right, let me <laughs> Glorious. No, I won't. Oh, it's still a rush with the handoff. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Victorious. Yeah. And I will defend. <laughs> you can I tell that I... <laughs> You can tell that I'm not I'm not concentrating anymore. But um thank you very, very much. It is as it is. Um welcome a large thud and sin sin nine three five. Thank you, Anonymous Gifter, welcome Krogzar. Thank you, Seabrawls. Welcome, Tangurka. Thank you very much, Hair Repeat 77. 10 subs. Welcome, Sleepy Aguire. Is that Aguire Weeks? Maybe. D4 Dude, Pie Dots, Jeff Wee, Yankee Sullivan, Dukes, Zakara, Ek, Reroll Daughter, Cherubim. Yep, there you go. Welcome, Team Fantastic. And uh, thank you very much, Duran Bjornsson. There we go. And welcome Spetsnats07, fantastic brother. Rain TFT, Law Bell, Tartan James, Fuzzy Bear, Crowmaster, Amberino, Wolfram, TikTikCut76, Jerk. Thank you very Sterling much. Sterling job casting this many matches. As oh. you keep talking about them, here is something towards <laughs> getting yourself a stripper in France. <laughs> Yeah, thank you very much. Um, <laughs> oh dear me! I've got I've literally got no idea <laughs> what that is because I can't log in. <laughs> but thank you very much. Glorious. <laughs> no, uh, I won't stay give fantastic. in thank until you I'm victorious. Dive. Thank and you very I will much. Defend. I Incredible will defend. stuff. Wow. Wow, thank you so much everybody. Amazing stuff. Absolutely amazing. Level 6 hype train. Incredible. Smashed the previous record. Unbelievable. Thank you so much everybody. And, uh, right. And, I mean, basically congratulations to Valence, right? He's 1-0 up now after Matabolitos' drive. Matabolitos has to win this game and he's 1-0 down. So he has to play like a lunatic and he has to not set up like this because that gives the Skaven like a sideline right and they can just pow down and, and win into two turn right so I I think he had to not do this specifically in this situation he had to go wide and uh and hope for the best glorious no I <gasps> won't give in thank you I'm victorious and I will defend I will defend staying fantastic for six We're glorious hey. minutes oh a bribe Oh, an instant 2D on a mummy. I wonder if that will change any potential strats. Double powering mummies. It's pretty strong. Oh my goodness. He doesn't have enough for chevrons, but I think he should have just gone wider, right? I just think he has to go wider to stop the rats just going down so easily. I guess he's got more to react if they do. I don't know, I would just like to see him go a little bit wider. I'd just like to see him go a bit wider. I mean, he's, he's in an unwinnable situation, basically. Oh god, okay, yeah. Yeah, well now he's, now he's lost. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, failed to argue the call. Um, still got his bribe, but 
Mummy, I'd like to foul. Ah. Yeah, fouling mummies is, is the way to beat undead, I think, honestly. Like, if you can get a good... Like, if you've got a team that can f make a foul, um, like, fouling a mummy is just incredible, right? Like, if they've only got one mummy for a drive, they've got nothing. Now, that's less, less of the case with Skaven, who can just run away from them. But, like, you know, if you're orcs or humans or whatever. Then, uh, but he's got some pressure. He's got some pressure on. And uh, surveillance could snake. Um, Madablitos does have to roll dice here. Maybe didn't have to rush to tag a gut runner. But, you know, again, that's a 1 in 36 chance, right? It could go wrong. It could go wrong. But actually, it was a rush to get assisted. To assist his blitz is the, is the problem, right? Wow. Wow. Um, yeah, so there you go. Thank you so much, everybody. Um, level 6 high training is unbelievable. And uh, incredible. Thank you. Tanks. As, uh, as they say in Ireland. <laughs> Yeah, the strip is a little bit deep. I mean, this stop, like, you know, he's, he'd just been burned by the uh, runaway, hadn't he, the other game. So he's thinking to himself, I don't want to do that again. So he's put him real, real deep. But, I mean, Savins doesn't even need to score a second, does he, right? He can just win 1 0. So Matabolitos really has to pressure hard while still somehow having some cover for a breakaway. And he's got to do it all with like mostly blockless movement, three or four players. It's pretty rough, isn't it? Like his stripper's blockless, his ghouls are blockless. He does have a couple of tacklers, but it's just really, it's just really, really hard situation for him. Nice little chain out. Can I cage near the rogue and now if he wants? Well, just way past him because he's movement seven <laughs> and nine. So I didn't like this so much. I'll tell you why. Yes, this has dodge and this one doesn't. But um this is the this is the stripper, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, rush, rush. You can one D you with strip if you fail this dodge. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Or something like you know, do something with this one first in case it fails. He's got sure hands. Disregard. Oh god. Oh god, disregard then. Disregard. I'm sorry. I'm a moron. Disregard. Errata. Errata. <laughs> this has not helped me get in the game, get in the zone for my game at nine, has it? I've just been a complete moron for, for this entire game. <laughs> oh dear me. Oh. Well, the important thing is. <laughs> There's been lots of gift subs and donations. So thank you very much, guys. Um, that's fantastic. That's the... Uh, that's brilliant. And uh, I've got a feeling like I'm not going to play very good later because... Um, yeah. I am playing Gogo Bay in the, uh, in the second of the series after we drew the first one. Yes, the undead needs two, yeah. Like, it's it's insane, right? He's got to stop the Skaven scoring and score two. Like, it's basically impossible. Basically impossible at this point, but, you know, he's got to try his best and see if he can make things happen. Um, hello, Ceramol. Um, it will be Fymir and Dimi again. No Elliot this time, he won't be here. Oh my god. When Skaven do this to you, you lose, by the way. 
And they can do that, right? Because they've got the Mighty Blow Blitzer and they've got the Roger. Like, they can do this some, like, some games. And when they do, you just lose. Yeah, Mata Belitos needed a uh, better dice than this. And, and he needed to play better. Like, I don't think I don't think he built his team very well. I don't think he played as well as Surveillance, but the you know, he had harder questions to answer, didn't he? You know? Like his dice were way worse. And his dice actually need to do, be better to win. Right? So like it, it was a real tough ask. I think Skaven match up pretty well versus Undead. Um, you know, the mummies are so slow, the zombies are so bad. Um, they don't get sure hands generally. It's pretty rough. Pretty rough game for uh, Undead in general. Yeah, not even a third of the dice. Yeah, he needed the better dice and he got the worst dice. I mean, you lose those games, right? <sighs> <laughs> I often do that sometimes. I mean, I'm not second guessing myself. I'm just saying, you know, like the idea was to have, like watch this game to be in the zone of like I'm thinking about Blood Bowl. I'm not going to make boneheaded plays, and yet I've just made boneheaded calls in this. Oh my god, another removal! So the fact that I've made boneheaded calls doesn't bode well. But you know, there's there's decisions and there's dice, isn't there? So I might actually make a Kaz in this game. Imagine if I make a Kaz. Imagine if I make a Kaz. That will be unbelievable. Oh my god. Oh my god. I mean. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, just end the turn. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, that's that's completely reasonable. That's completely reasonable from Matabolitos. Talk about diced. Um. You know, he, he had to be, he, he was the one that had to dice the Skaven, and instead this happened. He ended the game with five players. <laughs> he even failed all of the KOs. It wasn't bad enough that they all got KO'd, he failed five out of five KO. Insane. Absolutely, I mean, that is a comedy mega, there you go. If, you ever, if you've ever seen a comedy mega, then that's it. Um, so there you go. So I would say, I think Skaven, particularly good Skaven coaches as well, right? It, um, this is one of the things, is the thing is about like the overall stats, um, it's average players versus average players most of the time, isn't it? You know, like, so your distribution of skill levels, is, it's like a normal distribution, isn't it? So most people are around average. So maybe it's a lot closer at the average versus average, where the mighty, the, you know, the mighty blow mummies just remove loads of Skaven. But once you've got like good undead coaches versus good Skaven coaches, the good undead coach still has to follow the average plan of punch things with mighty blow and hope for the best. Whereas the good Skaven coach can do things, can do better things with movement nine and edge two plus than the worst Skaven coaches can do. And that, that's why, I think that's a big reason why we saw a lot more agility teams in this. It's just you can get more out of them, uh, the better you are. Now, of course, we saw Sergal versus Kefog, that you can still smash elves to pieces, you know, um, you know, and you can still, of course, you can still play bash teams better. Diamed played his, his Necro incredibly well. Devo plays his Necro incredibly well. But also, Necro have something a bit more subtle to them. Yeah, Necro have more subtleties to them than just Orcs. So I do think you find the better players go for those things that they can get a bit more out of. Um, yeah, that's the other way of looking at it as well, Torquemada. Yep. So there you go. So Surveillance wins that 2-0. Um, absolute dicing in the second game. A real shame for Mata Belitos. <laughs> he needed the good dice. He got the bad dice. And that means Surveillance goes through to round two. There's the updated um, tournament bracket. He will face Wenteros Ozahu. I think he'll be hoping for a mirror there. I think Dark Elves match up quite well versus Skaven. Of course, Skaven can still just roll their one turn and stuff, but I think he'll be hoping for Zahu over Wenteros. Uh, Wenteros, of course, from his group as well, so for what that's worth. Um, so, yeah, there you go. Commiserations and Matabolitos. Congratulations, Surveillance. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.